¿Cómo te sientes? We're just getting ready to get started. We just put her to sleep. Ojalá todos mis pacientes fueran así. You know, we're using the Vaser. The Vaser is an ultrasound assisted liposuction. What it does, it uses this probe, it shoots an ultrasound around it and helps to break up the fat. Several benefits of the Vaser are that, you know, by breaking up the fat, it's easier to remove the fat. So it's a lot easier to get the fat out. Less bruising, less bleeding, less injury, traumatic injury to the patient from the liposuction. It gives you a smoother result for the skin. Plus it gives you more contraction of the skin. Vaser can be applied to any patient and it, it works great for everybody, but it's really beneficial um, and it's, it's really useful in people, especially that have had liposuction beforehand because people that have had liposuction beforehand have a lot of scar tissue from the previous surgery. So the Vaser really helps to break it up and it really allows me to get that fat out to, to, to get a better shape. Without it, it's, a, it's a much more difficult because like I said, you know, you're limited based upon the scar tissue. And you can see, you know, as I'm, as I'm moving the probe in and out, initially, it moves a little bit slower, and as the energy is, is breaking up the fat cells, it just kind of slides in and out like butter. So you can see now, this is after the liposuction of the back, before the fat transfer. And you can see, look at this. Look at this curve in the lower back compared to, to where she started with. You know, you get a good visualization of what it's gonna look like when you lift up the hips. Look, she got a nice tiny waist, she got that nice S curve that goes from here all the way, all the way up. And I mean, she's gonna be happy with that. I mean, that's pretty much her waist is down to her bones. And now we're gonna inject some fat, you know, you can see I have some red area circled, you know, that's area where she has some cellulite and some indentations. The problem with these areas are, you can never get them perfect. What happens is that, you know, these been there her entire life. There's a lot of fibrosis and there's a lot of scar tissue in the skin itself. So it limits the expansion of the skin when you're putting the fat in and that's always the problem from getting it perfectly round and smooth. I always tell patients they're always better, but, but they're never perfect. Sometimes I use a, uh, a device to try to break it up a little bit, which is, which is what I'm gonna do now. And then I'm gonna in inject the fat to try to get it as round and, and just to kind of fill in this area so she has a nice round shape. Most people typically around 40-50% of the fat survives. So we try to get in a little bit more than we need. But like I said, the limiting factor is, is the expansion of the skin. So when the skin stops moving is when I stop injecting. From here, she'll go into the recovery room after she gets awoke from anesthesia. She'll be there a couple of hours till everything's doing well, then she'll go home. You know, my protocol after the operation is, is relatively simple. First 10 days, you wanna stay off of the buttocks. So it's best to sleep on the stomach. After 10 days, you can sit with the pillow under the legs. So you're not putting any pressure on the buttocks. At one month, you can sit and sleep normally. Two months, you can start resuming exercise. Like I said, the drains are there till they drain less than a certain amount in 24 hours. Usually somewhere around the week in most people, lymphatic massages after the operation really help to get rid of the fluid and push the fluid into the drain so the skin sticks down faster. Um, swelling lasts four to six months. The faja you're gonna wear for three months. The first two months, you're gonna wear it all day, every day. The last month, you're gonna wear it just half a day. You're not gonna wear it at night. But um, other than that, average person takes pain pills a couple days, you go home with some antibiotics, back to work somewhere around a week or two. Mis amores, ya mi sirenita salió de cirugía. Ahora está en sala de recuperación. Vamos a ver a mi sirenita como quedó. Ay, mami. No tienes dolor, te sientes bien. Yo estuve ahí todo el tiempo, mami. Tú estabas ahí acostada toda como de él en... Hagan de este cuerpo lo que le dé la gana, pero... Ya se ve el cambio, tú estando en la sala de cirugía. Sí. Vamos a esperar para que te pasen a la otra habitación sí. y ahí empezamos la rumba. Tú acostada ahí sin poder moverte y yo rumbeando, brincando y saltando. Sí. Tú rumbea por ti, por mí. Se siente el alivio después que tú te haces el masaje de drenaje linfático, el, el alivio es momentáneo. Enseguida que ella se pare de la camilla, ella va a sentirse otra. Sí.